addition to the economic and the, the stewardship benefits, it's really nice when you feel confident in what you're doing. 20 years ago, I didn't see many forests around here getting managed. Now I can take you to a lot of forests right here that are being managed. So proper forest management can uh, really pay big dividends, I found. It has for me. Extension programs have given me a reference, I believe, becoming a much better uh, steward of our property, uh, an understanding of how the ecosystem fits together. Since I've been managing it, we've seen a return to our forest of uh, fishers. Beavers have recently returned to our stream. So we're getting back pieces of the ecosystem that have been missing. Well, it's the Pennsylvania Forest Stewards, they call it now. Jim Finley, Extension Forester out of Penn State. And uh, he had this <clears throat> private forest landowners uh, training program going on. And I went up and through that, went through his training program. I got my son later on to go through it. And when my grandson got 18 years old, I got him to go through it. That's what we taught up at Penn State, how to grow trees, how to go in there and do crop releases and things like that, how to grow better trees. That was the difference. Management of forest invasives has been a uh, very large uh, problem for me, and uh, I've always managed to keep an, on top of it, but uh, I found that the resources offered by the Extension Service uh, have been very valuable in that. It is very helpful because if you talk to the professionals that do it, you get a different viewpoint. And in many cases, uh, you could be wasting thousands of dollars by doing the wrong thing, or even the right thing at the wrong time. And uh, I found that uh, having the resources from the Extension Service has uh, aided me in many ways. We recently had the opportunity to work with a logger who uh, does chipping. And uh, I was always uh, concerned about chipping. Uh, because I didn't want to remove minerals and so forth from our property. Uh, after I spoke with uh, Dave Jackson, our extension forester, and we were able to move forward with that project, and just this winter, uh, that netted us about $30,000. We're teaching people here how to build a forest. And last year, for the first time I've seen in Pennsylvania, right underneath your feet around here, you'll see some little seedlings coming up. I've never seen seedlings come up in a chestnut orchard in Pennsylvania any place, they come from adult trees in the forest. Now they're starting to come up. We're we'll have to try to find out why are they coming up and where are they coming up and how do we manage it to make them come up. Really extension touches every, you know, pretty much everything I do. I was in 4-H when I was a kid. It's helped me as a mom. The uh, forest education that I've received really helped me to be confident in the management decisions I was making. I uh, learned some things that we had been doing incorrectly that we were able to, to uh, change and uh, helped me protect the force that we have.